What's up all my fine, fine girls? No pimple is with here again with another video. So I am back, okay, as you guys can see, if you watched yesterday's video, we have a new video today. Today, I'm gonna talk about my top fall perfumes, okay? So yesterday, if you have not checked out yesterday's video, I talked about my top fall palettes, okay? And today we're gonna talk about perfumes, okay? I love perfume and I went through my collection and I gathered 10 perfumes that I feel like just scream fall to me. And yeah, before we get started, Okay, follow your girl on Instagram and TikTok, okay, at Ask Whitney. Subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed. Okay, if you watch my videos over and over and you're not subscribed, why? What did I do to you? Huh? What, what did I do to you? Subscribe. You like it. You like the content. Go ahead and just hit the subscribe button, okay? Leave a comment down below. It helps the engagement of the channel. It helps for more people to be able to see this content. So if you like to have a content and want other people to see this type of content, comment down below like the video it really does help the engagement and i really do appreciate any any and everybody who does engage my content it really really means so much to me so thank you guys oh, what's going on here okay oh i reached my move goal i didn't think i was i really didn't do much today okay anyways <laughs> let's go ahead and get started so what do i want to start with first uh you know what let's start with the one that straight off the bat this is like fall in a bottle and it's so gorgeous that is going to be the mfk their grand soir you guys i love this perfume okay i don't really feel like i get to use this perfume as much because i bought this early in the year and for me so this perfume definitely screams fall to me for sure but if i'm gonna wear it throughout the year it's definitely more for me an evening wear i feel like for me when it comes to my perfumes i definitely pick them out based off of the time of day that I'm going to be doing whatever activity I'm going to be doing and for me if I'm going to wear something like this I'm definitely going to wear this more in the nighttime evening time afternoon time maybe but definitely more for me a, a evening scent and so I feel like I haven't really got to use her much that's why like there's barely a dent in here but the other day I went out I went to Top Golf with my family and I sprayed this oh my gosh you guys this perfume like the, the, the lasting power of this perfume is crazy and the way it, it gets all over the place in a good way. So I wore what I wore out and I took what I wore off and I put on my night clothes to go to sleep. And y'all, the stuff that I, I went to sleep in smelt like this. Mind you, I took off the clothes that I actually wore. So like it, 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 it rubs everywhere, okay? So if you like the smell of this, if you really, really like smell this and you love it, Oh my gosh, you guys, I need to like actually go through and dust my perfumes. Like this is freaking ridiculous. So ratchet with me, really. Anyways, <laughs> um, if you really like the way this, this smells, you're gonna love the fact that it literally lingers. And a lot of times people say that um Baccarat doesn't really they don't really they can't really smell it. I don't know, at least with this one, I feel like I, I smell this everywhere. It is a beautiful perfume. If you like amber, you're gonna love something like this. This is definitely an ambery perfume. There's something sweet about it. Also, I wanna oh yes, yes, oh, thank god I remember this. If you are interested in this perfume and you go smell it at a counter, I beg you to please spray it on the back of your hand. If you spray it on little cards they spray it on, you may not like this. And that's what happened to me. I saw this perfume. I honestly wanted it because it, it looked it looked beautiful, okay? Let's be honest. This, this bottle looks beautiful. So I was like, I really want that perfume just because of the color of the perfume and the bottle. And I wanted it. And when I smelled it, I was just like, oh my gosh, this stinks. No. When I sprayed it on my, my hand, oh, it changed. So if you're gonna give this a fair chance, please try spraying it on your hand first. Let me move on because I don't wanna just, you know, linger on a perfume for too long, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about a Mancera perfume. This is a perfume that I don't talk about often, honestly, and it's because I don't really wear it often, but I feel like because it's kind of like with Grand Soir, it, ha it has to have a time and occasion. This for me is not a perfume that I can just wear all the time or any, any time. And that is going to be Mancera's Musky Garden. This definitely screams more fall vibes for me, for sure. And to be honest, I don't think this is a safe blind buy. If you can smell it, smell it first. Cause I don't, I, I don't see a lot of people just really loving this. But then I feel like if you're somebody who ends up loving this, you would love this, you know? So for me, this was a blind buy. Actually, I didn't buy this. It was a Christmas gift. My brother got this for me for Christmas, but it was a blind buy in the sense that like I asked for it and I never smelled it. I just, let me just get, get musky garden. The best way to describe this is literally in the name. I feel like Mancera does a pretty good job at describing what the perfume will smell like based off the name of it. Think of like musk and a garden full of flowers mixed together. That is what this smells like. Um, it, it, it's, 
I don't see this being everyone's cup of tea, but I like it for whatever reason. And like I said, for me, if I'm gonna wear this, it has to have a certain occasion. This is definitely not a daytime perfume for me. This is definitely not an everyday. It can almost feel a little just nauseating after a while and you have to be light handed with this. I spray like three spray, like usually I'm over sprayer, not with this. This can really just get to you, you know, this is something I take in doses. I almost sound like I don't like the perfume. I do like the perfume, but it's in doses for me. You know, it's not a scent that I would always go for, um, but I do like it, but in doses and it has to have the appropriate time. So let's go ahead and stick with Mancera. This, now this is a perfume that I love, okay? I love her and you can see based off the dent that I have made and that is going to be Rose's Vini. You guys, look at it. Look at it, look at her, look at her. So best way to describe this, it smells like roses and vanilla. Um, if you have ever smelled MFK's Gentle Fluidity Gold, it smells just like it. it. Smells just like it. And that's part of the reason why I don't own Gentle Fluidity Gold because I had got this one first and then I smelled that one. I was like, oh, they smell the same. Also, this is cheaper and you get more product in here. This is a four ounce bottle. Um, typically the MFK perfumes come in the 2.4 or you can get their six point something fluid ounce and they're a lot more expensive. And also, Mancera is known to be a beast mode perfume. They linger, they last. If anything, I feel like this lasts longer than the, the Gentle Fluidy Gold by MFK. And I know that because I actually had a sample of it. Like, you know, when you order off MFK's website, you do get um, free samples. And so I just got one. I was like, let me just go ahead and just get it. And I feel like the lasting power on this is a little bit more. I love Roses of Vanille. Honestly, this is, a, this, this is a perfume that's perfect for any time of the year, to be honest. Um, definitely a great daytime wear. Definitely a great Aaron running perfume. Um, it's it's honestly it you can't go wrong with a scent like this. If you want to play it safe, go with this one. Also, it's a scent that you know I I when I think of my more mass appealing scent that you know you know when you go to Macy's all the perfumes are smell the same you know even though they're different brands but there's something that they seem very similar. This is something that is is safe to, to spray. It smells good. But it's also different in the same way, you know, in the same sense. And yeah, you're gonna get compliments on this for sure. So let's move on. We're already at nine, almost 10 minutes in. We've only talked about three perfumes. But you know what? Also, I was like, you know, trying to get some stuff ready while I was already recording. Anyways, whatever. Okay. The next perfume that I have here, this is going to be, <laughs> this is the only thing I own by Hermes because Hermes is an inexpensive ass brand. <laughs> but I got the perfume. Okay, and this is the Twilly de Hermes, and this is just a regular Eau de Parfum. This is a 1.6 fluid ounce or the 50 ml. If you like gingery perfumes, you gonna like her, okay? This perfume smells very elegant, classy. For me, this is another perfume that I like to wear in doses. I don't dislike the scent. I do like the scent, but like I said, it's in doses for me. It's not something that I want to gravitate towards all the time, but for, like now that fall is coming upon us, you know, it definitely screams more fall for me, for sure. Definitely fall. I feel like she's a nice, like, daytime perfume, honestly. Daytime, afternoon perfume. That's when I would really wear her. That's what it's giving. So, yeah, if you like ginger a perfumes with a little bit of some cleanness to it, you would like this. And also, the bottle's so cute. I think that's why I really wanted it. The bottle's so cute. I mean, I do like the smell of it, but the bottle's cute. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Um, let's go over to this brand. Oh, I have another Mancera perfume. Wait, I have three Mancera perfumes in this video. How did that happen? Okay, let's talk about this perfume real quick. Let's talk about this. I did not know that I had this. I forgot that I, I don't know how I missed this. I think because it's on this side. Okay, so this perfume here, this is going to be Mancera's Instant Crush. You know, I have not really worn this perfume as much lately. Because I've just been, I don't know. I don't know why I haven't. But you guys, this perfume is definitely like a nice fall vibes. I also got this for Christmas. My mom got me this. And uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, so when I think of fall, I think of this perfume because I got it for the holiday. Mm -hmm. Every time, every time, every time. She's going to hit. She's going to hit. She's going to hit. You guys, this perfume smells beautiful. She smells beautiful. I don't know. How do I explain this perfume? Like Instant Crush is just. It's a safe, it's a safe scent. I feel like most people will like this. Of course, there's gonna be people who may not like this, but for the most, who is texting me? Oh, that's just a notification. Okay, anyways. 
for the most part, people are going to like this. But yeah, there's going to be people that, you know, they may not like this. But for the most part, it is a safe scent. She is gorgeous. She is beautiful. And I love her own okay? hair. If you like Baccarat, because a lot of people compare them to, to each other. I don't think this smells like Baccarat. But if you do like Baccarat, there's a high chance that you will like Instant Crush. Or if there's something about Baccarat that just doesn't, you know, you like it, but it's just, mm, there's a chance that you may really, really like this. Then, you know, I don't know. They have that saffron in there, and I love saffron. I'm learning that I love saffron, okay? And she smells good. Okay, so next here, this right here is another perfume that I feel like for me screams fall, and that's going to be the Lancome, their Oud Bouquet. This is part of their private line. <sighs> How do I describe this? This smells like, I guess, like whatever Oud smells like, but honestly, it gives me more praline vibes. Like, there's something very sweet about this. It's, yeah, something like sweets. I don't want to say syrupy, but like, it reminds me of something just edible in a sense. But it's not a gourmand. I don't think this is a gourmand, but like, yeah, like this is, ah, oh, this is beautiful. I love this. I love, love, love this. Apparently, this is like a great, um, or I guess a dupe to this scent would be the Sh um, Shagoth Oud. I think that's how you say it. You can get, it's like the Arabian, what, you can get off Amazon. And that one's like $50, it's like way cheaper than this bottle. But you guys, I, I, I love this. I love this. And look at the bottle. Look at the juice. Look at the juice. Oh my gosh. She is, oh. do you not, like, this is not scream fall. Just like, just based off the liquid alone. I feel like I'm so excited for this holiday. I'm excited for fall. Like, I just feel like I'm honestly in a better place in life this year. Like, I mean, last year I was not unhappy, but honestly, I'm really really looking at my life and I'm like I am happy I don't have no toxic friends I don't got no toxic relationship I don't got no type of toxicity if you're toxic best believe I will cut you out of my life like a cancer okay you cannot stay here so I just find that I'm so happy and I'm really looking forward to the fall this year like I am so excited also I get I'm gonna be graduating this fall so like I'm even more excited you girls gonna be graduating <laughs> anyways Back to the video, back back to the point of this video. This right here, Oud Bouquet, definitely fall vibes for me. She's gonna be whipped out, okay? I love, I love, 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 love her. But yet again, I feel like this is a perfume that I honestly would recommend because you smell in person before you buy it. Don't, don't blind buy this. I'm just gonna be very honest. Like, Musky Garden, do not blind buy. Grand Soir, do not blind buy. Thule de Hermes, do not blind buy. Oud Bouquet, a lot of these are some things that you you really have to smell and see what you how you feel about it, okay? All right, cool. Let's move on. Of course, we cannot do a video like this that is titled Fall and not talk about this and not talk about I want to say palette and talk about this perfume. And not talk about this perfume. I'm not spray too much. <sighs> by the fireplace. By the fireplace by Mason Margella. Oh, it's in the air. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm just like chestnuts are roasting. And is it chestnuts roasting? Chestnuts? What's that one Christmas song? How Y'all know what song I'm talking about. Marshmallows roasting? Yeah, you can roast chestnuts. Chestnuts are edible. <laughs> y'all, this is just giving me holiday vibes. Like right now, spraying this in the air makes me excited to watch Halloween movies like usually I wait till October to watch any Halloween movie I'm excited to have a nice cup of hot cocoa and my candles burning in the background and watching Hocus Pocus like I, I'm looking forward to it like I really am looking forward to this just to this season okay so oh she smells so good the only thing I, I, I don't like about Mason Margiela is all his perfumes or is it or is it he or she anyways that brand all they make is toilets like if this could be a parfum it's over. It's over for you. Oh my gosh. Like when I say I will wear this every single day, I have to be light handed with this because you guys see I had made a nice little dent in here. Oh, I wish this was a parfum because it doesn't last nearly as long. Like I have to do a lot of like, you know, like over spraying, mixing it into my lotion to like make sure it like lasts even longer. But yes. Oh yeah. So yeah, it's burning wood and chestnut. So for me, think of like, uh, fire like the name like he's they do such a good job at like describing the scent of it it's something that i would honestly recommend that you smell in person i thought a lot of people like it but there's also some people like mm. it's different it's diff definitely different and unique it smells like burning wood it smells like burning wood but in a good way okay and 
the perfumes are unisex. I can definitely see, oh, a, a man put this on. Cha. Whew. But at the same time, a woman with this on too. This this is different. This is unique. Like, I feel like this is a great conversation starter. Like, I feel like if I spray this and a man smell me, it's like, oh, that, that smells nice. Like, I feel like th that perfume, like, perfume is a great conversation starter, but I feel like that one definitely is. Okay. I am doing too much rambling. I have three more perfumes here. Okay. Well, who do I want to do first? Let's go ahead and talk about you. The next perfume that I have here, it is Versace, their Eros. I remember I would see this perfume all the time at Sephora when I worked there and Listen, perfume was a luxury, okay? I would buy the makeup, but like buying perfume, child, I'm not gonna spend my, my little my little check on no perfume. But she's finally mine. She's finally in my collection and I absolutely love her. So for me, this is a perfume that I honestly feel like it works for any time of the year. It is a great fall scent. It's a great daytime scent. It's, it's, it's really just a, a nice scent. There's something very sensual about this perfume. Um, has a little bit of some sweetness to it, but not too much. Um, it's 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 very grown-ish in a good way. Like I like this. Like I don't know. It was something about this perfume that always had me drawn to it. I just feel like this is a beautiful perfume, and honestly, it has a great lasting power. I sometimes I felt like the perfumes that last as long as before, but the, the, the issue is not that it didn't last, it's that I will spray them while I'm at work and I'll go spray something else. And obviously you're you're like, when you just have all the stuff being sprayed or on you, and then also the stores, they smell like perfume, they smell like a bunch of stuff, you're gonna lose the sense of smell. But now that I, you know, I work from home and I will spray my perfumes, I literally catch whiffs of a lot of my perfumes throughout the day. So I'm like, okay, no, these, these perfumes actually have great longevity. And this is one of them. Like this one literally lasted for hours. I was just like, I was shocked because I thought this was a perfume that, you know, two, three hours and that's it. No, no, no. This lasted a full, full work day. I was like, oh, I like this. Okay, so two more perfumes. Two more perfumes. Let's go ahead and talk about this one. Okay, so I was torn between this one and the other one, but I decided to put this one in the video because I feel like this definitely screams fall. But we're gonna do an honorable mention of the other one. And that's gonna be Nishane's Ani. Y'all. I feel like I've talked about Ani so many times in so many other videos. This is like vanilla and something like spicy at the same time. This is a unisex perfume. I believe so, yes. It is a unisex perfume. And I can definitely see a man spraying this and it's smelling so good on him. But at the same time, I can see a woman wearing this as well too. For me, this is an extra de parfum. So you don't want to overspray with this. I don't overspray with her. Normally I'm gonna overspray you guys, but I do not overspray with 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 her because it could become nauseating. I love this perfume and I feel like when I finish this size, do I wanna buy the bigger one or am I content with this size? Like I like this size. I just like how sleek it is. But at the same time, I kinda want the bigger bottle too. I don't know. Let me first finish this. But let's go ahead and do the honorable mention. And that is going to be the other Nishane perfume. I really need to dust my per my perfumes. Like at this point, I need to clean them after this video. This is ridiculous. But um, this is Fan Your Flames. If you like By the Fireplace, I think you will like Fan Your Flames. They don't smell alike, but there's something similar about it. I like like these darker toned like perfumes. So this right here, the, the ingredients are listed here. It has coconut, rum, tobacco, Oh, rum, tobacco, tonka, oak moss, Chinese, cedar wood. It has all of that in here. I smell the coconut heavy. Heavy on the coconut and the rum and the tobacco. Like, it's like some type of sweetness. Like, just think about by the fireplace with a little bit more sweetness to it. Like that rum and tobacco, that coconut comes in and sweetens it up a little bit. So I want to say this is an honorable mention. I love this perfume, but for me, I have to wear her in doses because sometimes the coconut can just be a little, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm good on the coconut right now. I'm, I'm tired of her. But if you like coconut in your perfumes, then I think you would really like this. But yeah, she was an honorable mention. Fan your flames. She's good. Now, I say the best for last, okay, because I think she really is that girl. And I've talked about her all the time on my channel. And, you know, we have to talk about her 
today okay and that is going to be Tiziani Terenzi's White Fire you guys have heard me talk about how I feel like she does not get the love and you know the tension that she deserves like everybody talks about D-Locks Kirk um Cassio P whatever the hire we say it they talk about all the other Tiziani Terenzi perfumes and I don't understand how y'all really be missing White Fire like this, you know who I blame? I blame the sales reps because when people come to the counters, why are you not showing them this? Like literally it was for me going to a Neiman's counter and she just came up. She was like, oh, smell this one. I was like, oh, this smells nice. She's like, here's a sample. I was like, okay, thank you. And from that sample is what made me go back and buy, buy this. I was just like, oh my gosh, like you guys, this smells amazing. <sighs> so I say this for last because I feel like this is a perfume that is truly good for any season, any time, any place this is a multi-purpose perfume she works for everything you want uniqueness your perfume you're gonna get that with her you want something that's good for nighttime you're gonna get that with her you want a daytime perfume you can get that with her you want something like you just whatever you want you're gonna get that with white fire white fire for me is like the safest like if i cannot think of what i want to spray you know i don't know what i want to do this is like the safest option for me to go with i absolutely love white fire she really is that girl and i'm just so bummed that nobody talks about her but you know what i'm gonna keep talking about her and you know you guys share the video like the video i need people to know about white fire okay but then again i'm gonna be one people to <laughs> I'm, playing, I'm, playing, I'm playing i'm playing i'm playing but no i need more people to know about white fire okay because she don't get the love that she deserves like she really does not and it really bugs me out like nobody talks about her on youtube like that's crazy she is such a beautiful scent she is clean she is well blended but at the same time she's different like i really really like out of all these perfumes if you have not had the chance to smell any of them i think out of all of them the one that i would say is like truly the safest blind buy would be either instant crush or white fire but i'm gonna say white fire because i like her more I do I do like her more and also I would highly recommend that you just go into a Neiman's or anywhere that carries Tiziana Terenzi and smell her and let me know down below what you think about White Fire because I really need my girl to be on the map like she needs to be up there with the Kirk with the d -locks, okay she needs to be out there because she really is that girl but anyways you guys I've rambled for too much okay and I really don't want to edit too much of this video <laughs> But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye.